Okay, hello everybody. Slim Kirby here. Welcome to another month of the Star Warrior Cup. This is Star Warrior Cup number nine. Uh, that's right, this is the ninth Star Warrior Cup. We are officially three-fourths of the way through our first year of the Star Warrior Cup. It's been a blast. I've enjoyed it. Um, every tournament to some extent, um, every month we've done this. It's been a lot of fun and hope you guys have enjoyed the ride as well as we move into the final, th uh, did I say third? Yeah, I think that's, yeah, fourth. I said three fourths. I don't, I can't do math right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the last fourth of the month we're moving into after this month and, uh, I'm excited about what's coming up. Uh, this week we're going to be doing 200cc versus racing. Kind of a repeat since we did do uh, 200cc not terribly long ago, but uh, we're going to do it again just to get some extra practice. And I'm actually going to be uh, not playing as uh, Morton for once. I'm actually going to be picking Toad because... Toad might actually help a bit with the uh, top speed for 200cc, since you don't want to go too fast on 200cc. Definitely not. Okay, who do we got in here? Got a lot of fine folk in here. Oh, we have a full room, too. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm actually gonna go with Moo here just because something simple for the first track. Um, but yeah, um, hope you guys are again having a good month so far. Um, apologies again about last month, um, or not last month, last week. I was um, unaware that last week was Mother's Day and wanted to spend Mother's Day with my family, of course. So I decided to schedule one week later. I'm going to be a little more observant about the calendar from now on, since that's happened two months in a row now. Um, apparently the second Sunday of next month is Flag Day, but... And, like, I don't like to assume, but, like, I feel like... I feel like not a lot of people celebrate, like, Flag Day. It's not, like, one of those days you want to really, like you know, get together. And, like, it's also only, like, for Americans. Like, we don't really celebrate Flag Day. It's just, like, a day. I feel like. So I think I'm still gonna have it next month on the second Sunday, even if it is Flag Day. I really don't think it'll be that big of a deal, personally. Dang. I almost made it through the chaos there, but didn't quite. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Someone collided with me at the wall. And you stole my item! Tenth is not a great start. <laughs> Dang. I'm admittedly a bit rusty myself. I haven't been playing this as much as I've had in between the last couple of sessions. But, uh, it's all good. Just shaking off a little bit of that rust, I guess. Oh, and thanks to people who are actually posting about it. Um, there is actually a poll for next month's Star Warrior Cup uh, being posted in the chat right now. Um, it'll post like every hour or whenever someone uh, uses that command. I'll also make sure to put it in the uh, videos for this on YouTube so people can vote there as well. Um, it's going to be for next month's event, where it's basically going to be two settings. It's either going to be carts only or bikes only. So, um, 
uh, still 150 cc versus racing just normal settings aside from that but it was something I was actually interested in when I was looking through the settings trying to come up with ideas a couple of months ago and thought it might be an interesting thing to try out so we're gonna try to do that uh, next month so yeah you know give give people a certain stipulation it may not affect people uh, some people because maybe they already use one of those like exclusively but I know that for me personally, like, I've been using pretty much nothing but the bitty buggy since I've started using it. And, like, I, I have a couple of bikes that I've used before, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal, but, again, it'll, it'll be interesting to try and adjust to that. Oh, come on, I kind of wish I had the star in my first item slot, because I would have used that before that shell came. The shell was just coming way too fast, though. Oh, come on. I hate hitting walls in this so much. <laughs> I've gotten like three back-to-back -back Starmen though, which is pretty cool. <laughs> not gonna lie, but as long as I keep hitting the walls, that's not really gonna help me too much. <sighs> wow. You have the need for speed? I don't know if I do, honestly. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't be against a you know, slightly slower speed right now. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Definitely seeing a lot of the familiar faces at the top of this, uh, at least in this group. Ah, oh, dang it. I tried to turn a little sharply to avoid that blue shell, but... Ended up not being a great idea, because I turned it too sharply. Now I got a gold mushroom, which is not great for 200. not finish higher than 7th, and I thought I was doing pretty good on that one. At least you guys didn't deal with 200cc Big Blue. I feel like 200cc Big Blue is not that bad, though. It's F0. It's supposed to be used to the fast speed. 
How do you get in my group? You just have to wait. Like, you just have to wait until you get shuffled into the group. Every four races, you'll get shuffled around to a different group. It is kind of luck-based, admittedly, but there's not much I can do beyond that, honestly. You bumped me with the star? Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Wasn't too happy with that, but it's Mario Kart. It's, it, it, it is what it is. I'm not going to get angry at it. You're not as bad as you thought on 200? I mean, really... I, I don't want to say that 200cc is not that bad, because I am definitely, like, not a huge fan of it. It's just... Some tracks are better designed for 200cc than others. And that's kind of the main thing. There's some tracks that just were not built with 200cc in mind. And like, even when you use kind of the, like, slower vehicles to kind of try to compensate, it, it's still not a guarantee that it'll go that smoothly, because... should have waited to use that. I still didn't... That still did an alright job of getting me to where I wanted to be, though. Get a second place here. Not today, bloody. Not today. <sighs> Not today. I'll take that. Gerald's too good at this. Yeah, he's doing pretty well, not gonna lie. <sighs> Who's in first? It's Cass, it's kinda hard to tell with two different groups. <laughs> okay, so that was four races, so Groups kind of shuffled around a bit. It looks like half of the group that was just in the group I was in is here now. And the other half probably got moved to the other one. You think 200cc will be easier if you have smart steering on? I don't know. I, I don't really get, like, Part of me is not really even sure what smart steering does, and I just don't like taking control out of my hands. It's just not something I feel personally comfortable with. Yeah, I did that Mount Wario race pretty well. Um, maybe it was kind of rough in the beginning. Like, if it wasn't for that Lightning and that Starman I had, I probably would have not gotten as high as I did. But, like, I should have used the Bullet Bill a little better in the section where I'm the most scared in that level, which was the tree section. I didn't want to chance it in case someone else had a lightning. Yeah, 
It does not feel right getting hit by a red shell in 7th place. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, they're definitely capable of appearing better, but it's just like... Come on, save those for the people in front of me. <laughs> That was the last lap? Okay. <laughs> that only felt like two laps, but it is 200cc, I guess. Oh, I thought I beat Travato at the end there, but no, I guess not. Oh, wait, no, that was Morby who I beat. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, the laps do feel like two laps in 200cc. That's definitely true. Uh, so, common collective guys, let's not choose Dragon Driftway. <laughs> oh, of course. I'm not surprised the person who picked Dragon Driftway did, honestly. Also, hello, uh, Slavko. Oh, we have, we have another dragon driftway person here. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Not Baby Park! <laughs> that was Mr. A. Jeezy who picked the other dragon driftway. We just did Excite Bike. Why are we doing the smaller version now? <laughs> oh my gosh. No! Oh my gosh. I'll take fourth on that. Did I really lose to three, like, Peach and Daisy? Oh my god, we got Baby Peach, Peach, and Daisy. <laughs> At least Dodger Dan's Daisy, because I, I don't mind Daisy. <laughs> At least Baby Park is fun, unlike Excite Bike. What is fun, by your definition? <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that still being fun. You gotta know how to take the turns, laws. Yeah, I don't think it's that. You gotta, you gotta not get hit by items, and it's impossible on that level. The turns are easy. The turns are not the problem.
I still feel like I've only won Baby Park online twice. And it was actually, like, fairly recently. And that's kind of when I was on the, uh... I don't know if it was, like, before I hit 10,000 or if it was after, but... I do remember the first time I got first on a baby park and, like... Like, how the hell did I do that? <laughs> this is not something that happens ever. the items because there were other items in the middle of the track. I love how I slowed down to not get hit by the thing that was coming behind me. Then I got hit by a red shell because I was trying to avoid something else. You know. The dream. I didn't say it was a good dream, mind you. Oh, come on. Man, everyone's so far behind in this race. At least where I am, anyway. Oh, man. Missed the last item set? Yeah, that happens. I think that's... we switch rooms again? Cause I feel like that was eight races, but maybe not. You thought it was starting at 3.30? No. It, it's always started at 3. <laughs> I've never once started at 3.30. It ends at 5.30. But no, it's always been 3. But hey, you only missed 30 minutes. There's still two hours of this remaining, so... Still plenty of time to get in some races and chill for a bit. You got all three standard Mario tracks in this list. That's, that's pretty funny. Imagine 200cc mirror mode for next console Mario Kart. I'd rather not. <laughs> what if it started at midnight? So you want to... So Cass, you're suggesting a... Uh, um, Star Warrior Cup After Dark. Is that what you're suggesting? Because I don't know if that's... I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if the world's ready for a Star Warrior Cup After Dark edition yet. Where the hell am I going? Boom. Ouch. Just myself. <laughs> that was mean. I know you had no control over that, but still, it was mean. <laughs> These last few races have been pretty rough for me. After I got that second in Mount Wario. <laughs>
from 12th to 5th. That's pretty good. That's kind of how Mount Warrior went for me, as I went from, like, the very back to the very front of the pack with just a couple of items. Nitro Field is for hardcore carters. Yeah, I... I tend to agree. The drifting mechanics in that game are... They're almost too much for me to handle. I like just the simpler drift mechanics of this game. They're just so much better. Um, okay, it looks like I can sit back for a bit. Slim Kirby, are you looking forward to the upcoming new Paper Mario game? How did I get the feeling that that was going to be a discussion point of the stream? I just kind of had the idea that it would be. Um, I'm still very much skeptical of the new game because, you know, the big elephant in the room, you know, Sticker Star wasn't great. I personally couldn't really get into it. It definitely kind of prevented me from really checking out Color Splash, which I hear is better, but still I just wasn't really interested in it. And while I do think they are making some steps towards the classic Paper Mario, I just don't know if they're doing enough for me to be interested. I'm not going to like judge the game and say it's bad before it even comes out, because that's stupid to do that, but... I, I just kind of want to see a little more. I kind of want to see like what people think about it when it is actually out before I give it a chance. Because we all know it's going to be a full retail price game. And I don't know if that's something I want to commit 60 bucks to just yet. So yeah, we'll just have to see. That's, that's my own neutral, fair analysis so far. Jumpy! <laughs> that was mean. That was out of bounds! <laughs> okay then, game, whatever. Sorry, Jumpy, I... <laughs> I'm taking fifth from you because you got me earlier. <laughs> Nothing personal. Why do you keep ending up in a room by yourself the second time this happened? I don't know. It's just, again, the room shuffling mechanic. Can't really explain it. I don't really want to do any of these. <laughs> Random. sure how I feel about this. It is Baby Park after all. Or not Baby Park, Yoshi Circuit. <laughs> Baby Park was a choice. Thankfully it didn't get picked again, but... Hi Slim, joining in three minutes. Okay, thank you very much, Sleepy Custard Puff. What a very, very lovely username you have, by the way. Oh, that didn't work. I blame the person I clashed into. <laughs> Come 
on. I, I'm just not remembering these course layouts at certain points. Come on, where was triple greens in like eighth place? City. Let's go. The thing is, time trial only does so much because you you approach time trial in like a general race format in such a different way. Because time trial, you can just try to optimize your times on every lap and like the right path to take and shortcuts to take you don't necessarily have a way to guarantee that everything will be as seamless as it is in actual racing because I feel like the items themselves are such a big part of the actual racing and that's honestly what's kind of messing me up quite a bit today, if I'm being honest. Like, even something as simple as just getting, like, too much boost from a mushroom can, like, mess you up in, like, making certain turns. Maybe you have to take one turn differently because there's someone near you who has like a, a, a shell, a red shell, or a bunch of triples behind them or around them. Like, I, honestly, time, tri time trials can only help so much, personally, I think. GWN18. Your Metal Mario instead of Luigi. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> 